to uh, speak with you tonight. Um, it's been uh, quite a few months since we or I last uh, came to talk to you guys in this forum about the West Ham Street Bridge we brought on a uh, design team, which uh, in, is led by Wagner Associates engineers, uh, and their, their architect is WXY, or they have worked through a conceptual design which is what I'll present to you today. And the uh, bridge is at West Ham Street, at West Ham Street uh, which went from the north side of J.P. Ward Street to the south side of West Ham Street, next to the wall run. It's anticipated that it's going to have about 1,100 uh, pedestrians on peak hour, 600 of these potentially being school children going back and forth between schools on either side. Here's a plan view of the bridge. It's advanced in concept quite a bit since uh, since you guys have last seen it. As you can see, um, we are no longer proposing any any ramps that would be specifically for for a, a uh, wheelchair to traverse. Uh, the reason that we've eliminated that from design and replaced it with elevators is just the amount of space and the cost of the ramps. So. On the, the Batty Park City side, we're proposing a stair with an elevator. On the JP Ward side, we're proposing also a stair with an elevator. On the Batty Park City side, uh, we've really compressed the landing site, kept it tight to the dog run, and this, with this design, we've, we still need to remove two of the trees at the north end of the site but much preferable to the entire array of trees, which was the, the last proposal that was before us. Here's the design that our, our architects have come up with at this point. Uh, this is the first time this plan's been presented to the community board. I mean, Tom, uh, Tom Goodwin's never seen it, but yet I heard mention of some sort of meetings where this was presented to the community. I'm confused. Well, so it was um, just a sub subgroup of the commu community board just to just to go through. It was and, not meant and to be a full, full public disclosure. It was just just like we speak with uh, about Park City Authority. So the important decision of the ramp to not be there was made without any public input, really? No, I wouldn't say that that was necessarily made based on, it was it was made based on all of the input that we heard from all of our constituent organizations. So, so Which was not the community, it, though. Which, well, so, yes. So if we hear full and full howl and cry that a ramp is required at this location. We would consider, we would, we would look and study a ramp. We, we feel we studied a ramp and have come up with an economic solution which provides an elevator and provides access to the stair. You haven't if spoken, to revisit their buildings have several thousand people that live there. Have you spoken to anyone in the buildings? Not specifically. Yeah. Uh, one last question. I know the egg that you say that it's fully funded. Yes. There has been a lot of discussion recently about who would pay for the overruns. Right. Not the initial funding, but right. the in case of overruns. And that seems to be a sticking point to getting this actually launched and started. Do you know what that is? That's, uh, we're, we're still in discussions with Valley Park City Authority mm -hmm. on the, 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 that question. We're close to resolution. At this point, we have $27 million of committed funds, $20 million from the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation, which are from HUD, and we have $7 million committed from Batty Park City Authority. Our intention is to spend the $20 million from the HUD funds first, and then as we need to fund the, uh, the, the funding from, uh, from Batty Park City Authority. And just and remind me again, how much is the whole, we have 27 allotted, how much is the bridge supposed to be? So this bridge, this design, is estimated to cost $18 million in part of contract losses. So that, that's what, what would be paid out in, in contracts. Uh, when, now there's, there's multipliers on top of that. If the design, which will be uh, about $1.6 million total, there'll be fees and insurances that just have to be paid. It tends to bring, so at this point, we're looking at maybe $22 to $23 million for the cost of this bridge. That will change. But we've got a cushion at this point. 